Hello everybody and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. Today we are not on the uh, homestead, but uh, we decided to come over here to a little community near us uh, called uh, Pine Knob uh, and, uh, in Hoodoo Holler, Kentucky. And uh, walk across the bridge and walk up a trail. I'm going to go around and take some pictures and make a video out of nothing but a bunch of pictures and this beautiful scenery on these, this fall day and uh, well, see what we can come up with. So. If y'all will, just uh, enjoy this. I'm going to put some music to it and see if we can't uh, have a joyful little day today. So, y'all follow us along on this trip.
Well, here we are at the Pine Knob Theater, just down the, from where we was. Emily used to be in the play, and so did uh, Joseph. And uh, there's Grammy with, with Arrow. Well, here's the Pine Knob Theater sign and the lights and stuff. This is, used to be an old time. They did a lot of uh, plays down here. It was uh, four plays a year. If I remember right, my daughter was in most uh, some of them, so I get her. They used to bring old cars and sit them in here, and uh, on certain nights they would bring all these old cars. They had uh, different shows, and uh, anyway, the uh, they had to quit doing it because of COVID. Nobody would show up, and uh, and people didn't want to be around when all that COVID stuff hit. So anyway, I'm gonna take some pictures. And uh, like I said, I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> Cut! I'll edit Cut. it. No, keep going. <laughs> what do you want me to say? All right, how many plays was you in? Uh, I was in two. I did, the first year I did Pine Knob, I was, I don't know, maybe 15, and 15, 16. Yeah, because I used to bring you over here all the time. And I did Doc Brown, and I, my character was Sarah in Doc Brown. And, um, and then I was Sissy, and Daddy took the T-Bird away for years. You enjoyed that, getting to... Drive an old T bird, huh? I did. I got to drive the T bird and squall tires as I was coming in. That was fun. Um, oh. Voice has changed a little bit since you A little bit. In there. The uh, train wasn't here when I originally started doing the theater. And then I took a break and had a bunch of kids and came back after I had three kids and did it for a couple of seasons. And then it had to close down for a little while. <clears throat> Why'd it close down? Because the word we're not supposed to be talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But it was fun. Hopefully someone will get it running back. And what else uh, did you do uh, uh, at Pine Knob? You got married down here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I did. I got married in the gazebo thing down there. That was fun. That was fun. And then you had me. That's right. <laughs> Not oh, immediately after that she got married. That little rascal hurt. over there. Yeah. I'm walking. I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm going to get my hair cut in the barber area. Yeah, look. This, um... <laughs> That house right there that they're in is on a turntable, so it actually rotates. That way, whenever we're doing different scenes. So, in Doc Brown and, um, what was the other one? They, there were scenes on the porch, and then they would turn it around for the, for the next show. What was that one called? It was the diner, uh... Lord. Yeah, Lord. No, I, I wasn't in Lord. I, I uh, enjoyed watching it. That was. I never was in it because I liked. I like coming and watching it. And then they had a bebop. Yeah, fifties. I don't, I don't remember 50s. what that other one was. But hip -hop, I it was a uh, hip hop or no. I wasn't in that one either. Now, um, also, tell about the. Um, the water that people come and get a lot. Uh, yeah, Travis wanted me to bring jugs today, and we went off and forgot them. But there, right, put the burger back. But there is uh, natural springs that come off out of the caves, and people come from all over and get the spring water and fill up jugs. Travis yeah. does it every so often. When we pulled up, we saw a couple getting some water. Yeah. Uh, there's some on the main road, and then over where when you yeah. cross the bridge on the hike that. Pipe is, yeah, I took pictures of the pipe over there. And look, you know, some people don't know the one on the way in because you know it's just a pull off and the pipe is just right there, mm -hmm. but that's where Travis goes. 
The dressing rooms and stuff are back there. And Johnny would always stand over there and he'd be smoking his pipe and it would waft all over the... It <laughs> smelled so good. Every time I smell a pipe, that's what I think of him. In Doc Brown, there were stairs that actually came down where it usually go up there. I can't remember who did that. Uh, there was a scene that was kind of a prompt. And then the diner, or the, this part, Mr. Drain would serve drinks. And the table, the table would be over here. This is where we, all the cheerleaders, you know, I was the, the main head cheerleader. And so I would be over here and everybody would congregate. And there would be little table. Yeah. Joseph was in it one year and he played my brother in the play. And I got to smack the far out of him a couple of times. That was I fun. You, I, did, I bet you did it learning in Willow. Oh, I it. smacked him real good because people needed to hear it. <laughs> All the cars would be parked. All the cars would be parked here, and the T bird would be parked up here, and I would, I would ease it on up, and they, they would all, this would be backstage, and they'd give me the cue, and I'd vroom on, to, on there, and then squall the tires real loud. But the first time I did it was a total accident, and the look on my face, I thought, oh man, I'm in trouble. I cannot believe I just did that. And uh, it was such a crowd pleaser that Hannes afterwards told me to do it every time. Uh, but the first time was a total accident. Would you say And then right at the end, the building up, uh, the white building up there, they ended up uh, redoing the inside of that and had a lot of oh, it, antiques. It's probably there. You could probably look through the window. Yeah. It's, it had a bunch of stuff. Kind of oh. like a museum of high knob history, really. I yeah. mean, that's just really what it is. And, and it would be open, and they had food and stuff. And Now, is there another um, trail that you walk up here or anything back in this area mm -mm. no there is another there is another cave but it's on private property and i don't i don't know who owns that exactly but i, I heard they were kind of fuddy duds they won't let people go up there now, have you ever been there oh okay i always thought there was another cave there's a second yeah it's must... pretty big adventure the uh we're going to end it here at the theater hope you enjoy the pictures of the pine knob trail and the uh uh all the uh, ups and downs around the heat kills and Everyone. the cave and Everyone. the lake the old general store uh different things and now the pine knob theater a lot of memories around here a lot of memories gone by. So. So until next time. Y'all follow along. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Make a comment. Subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed. And uh, you know. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, comments and sharing would be really nice. Uh, we need all the comments and shares we can get. To get the analytics up. So we can. Uh be shared more with other people so anyway uh there'll be a over here in this corner there's going to be a uh subscribe button if you're not subscribed up here at the top there'll be a uh suggested video and down here will be one of our playlists and uh whoop we'll really appreciate it if you all would uh uh 
look at everything. <laughs> watch it. Like I said, we need all the watch hours we can get. And until next time, may God bless your days the way he always does ours. See ya.